ready for this? Oh. Here she is in all her messy glory. Welcome to my closet, y'all. What up, YouTube fam? It's your girl, Chelsea from Chelsea House of Lake here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, we're all about thrifting, secondhand shopping, and having fun with our fashion. So much fun. Today is a very special day at Chelsea House of Lake HQ because my closet is finally built. I have been thinking about this moment for as long as I can remember, having a huge closet with all my stuff in it where I can see everything, where I can touch everything, where I can get dressed, where I can get inspired, feel inspired, and it's here. My dream closet is finally built, and today's task is making it as dreamy as possible. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff, y'all. A lot of stuff that has been in storage for so long, a lot of stuff that has been under my bed for so long, a lot of stuff that has been tucked away for so long that I no longer know if it fits or if it serves me in the way that I wanted to moving forward, having the dream closet that I've always wanted. So uh, today we are gonna be deep cleansing and organizing my closet. I hope you guys are ready for this wild ride. It might be a two-day process to be completely honest because there's just so much and so let me walk you through how we're going to do this first off i'm going to start by going through every single piece getting rid of the things that i already know i no longer want to keep because they no longer fit me or they no longer serve me they don't excite me anymore like just things that like right off the hanger i know like it's time to pass you on to your next life and after we do that and we completely cleanse everything including the bins um, that have been in my storage for all this time we are then going to try everything on we're gonna touch everything we're gonna try it on we are gonna feel it we're gonna see it in the mirror and decide if it's gonna be kept or not so like I said this is gonna be a long process so I hope you guys are here for the wild ride but yeah let's cleanse my closet just to walk you guys through the closet we have two middle racks here this is a very interesting space because it's an a-line kind of like attic space and so my closet person my builder my wonderful construction person had to kind of think up the best way to utilize every space while still making it walkable functional all of that so we did two uh middle racks here or you know what i mean like two middle sections here with two racks on each side i want most things to be hung hence all the hanging space a long rack on this side of the wall so i can have all my dresses and anything all my robes anything that needs to hang all the way down my mirror hey hey girl hey and then we have a shorter rack here with some storage at the bottom just a wall of shelves for anything foldable here and on the other side we have here in the middle a sort of like radiator cover slash vanity space that we um, built so that we can maximize truly every space in this uh, closet these are my hats they are going eventually in either this shelf or the shelf that's open on that side still but on this shelf, I currently have my bags very messily um, just put up so that I know where they're going to go. And at the bottom here, I want to keep my belts, which are currently in these two little um, organization bin situations. And then on this side, we kind of just have two more long racks with storage space at the bottom, which is probably going to be uh, left for like any flowing, overflowing of shoes that may not fit in the shoe rack or the shoe shelf which is right over here this was all custom built like i said because the space is so you know unique that i couldn't just do like an ikea packs or anything like that but i'm really happy with the results now i just have to make it super organized i also have to get like those led lights like the you know the ones that you could recharge up here because having these in the middle definitely took away some of the space that we had or excuse me some of the light that we had coming in and flowing through the entire room so soon come the light okay now let's get started on the cleansing i'm scared we're starting off with tops i have my tops and my sweaters over here loving my pj set it's a new inspire drop they do like collaborations with a lot of content creators but this was their original line how cute are they they're very breathable which i definitely need because my apartment is so hot and then this is a noise outside so i don't usually open my windows that often and so yeah these are perfect i love them and i'm wearing my little turban to make me feel fancy and i already explained the sex in the city the second movie thing already to y'all so you know why i'm wearing this turban 
All right, so we're starting off with tops. I have all my tops here. Well, all the tops that are out. We still have the bins. Don't forget. And I know I'm not wearing that many sweaters, like I mentioned to y'all. So I'm really going to be selective here. Let's do it. This is a good one. I feel like they did this recently. I really love the fit. So we're going to keep her. This is gorgeous. It's an acrylic orange sweater I thrifted in Pennsylvania. August of 2020, I went out there as like my first mini trip with some friends for our friend's birthday. We rented a little cabin and we just like hung out. And of course I had to find the, the local thrift store and go check it out. This was also sent to me by Spirit Jersey. It means so much to me because it's like iconic New York taxi kind of like sweater, so definitely staying this i thrifted am i gonna give you guys a backstory to every piece because we're gonna be here for a long time but you know what i mean this is why i have such a hard time like letting go of things because everything i own i feel like has a story for me at least and if it doesn't like i just love to think of stories of like the previous owners of the things that i thrifted in their previous lives so like i don't know this i thrifted recently it's a ralph lauren purple turtleneck sweater and it's just like great quality i thrifted this in florida i think you guys saw when i thrifted this on the on the channel and yeah no this is this is iconic i cannot let this go okay we might have our first letting go piece we might have our first pass first donation terry cloth sweater top that i recently thrifted or not recently i thrifted it like last year but i haven't gotten as much wear out of it because of the shape <laughs> so hard it's so hard to let go of these things because they are such special pieces like i really try to thrift just things that like are special and bring me joy and stand out and so it's hard when it doesn't work out but so is life <laughs> So I thrifted this in Florida. You guys saw me thrifted. I thrifted it with the intent of wearing it during the holiday season, like a nice little holiday sweater, but I didn't. Yeah, I don't know. I love that she's colorful. Let's leave her for the second round when I'm trying everything on and make a decision then. Okay, this sweater I love. It's kind of like a zip up cardigan. It's vintage gap, but the feel of it is really rough. It's like very like structured and like just rough on the skin so I don't wear it as much because of how it feels and so I feel like that probably means I should let her go I'll list some of these things whatever I don't donate I'll list on either my Poshmark or my Depop because I feel like these pieces are really cool and special it's just not for me at the time so stay tuned for that the sweater is actually more like a sweater dress so I might switch her and put her in the dresses so I can think of it as a dress you know like placement matters within your closet and your clothes like how you think of a piece when you're getting ready like i wouldn't wear this as a sweater because it's so long but i would probably wear it as a sweater dress so let's switch her over there for now this is iconic come on this is a yes these are both very similar but very different and i'm sort of like wanting to let go of one or the other i feel like we can let her go she deserves better than to be in a closet collecting dust and not being worn so i cropped this pepsi sweater in hopes i would wear it more but i feel like it's just not my style this is much more like street style funky like sportswear i'm gonna pass her on to better life i already have like a cropped gray hoodie that i wear much more often and so we're keeping her i have to make a choice between these two guys i thrifted this one more recently so i feel like i'm gravitating toward keeping this one this is so good too. Okay, we'll, we'll wait for the round two. This I just haven't worn. I thrifted this uh, on a road trip with a friend. I feel like I thrifted it because I wasn't finding that many good things and I was like, ooh, one cool thing that I found, I wanna take it home. But she's not, she hasn't been getting that much wear. And I feel like she deserves better. Another one of those situations where like, they are very, very similar. So maybe I only need one. And I feel like this is a little bit more wearable for me. It's a little lighter than this. Wow, guys, I feel like I'm doing really well. I expected this to be much more like pulling nails, you know, getting rid of things, but so far we're doing it. Never letting go of this sweater. I don't care, I could just bury me in this. Like I, this was probably one of my favorite finds. 
So I actually got this from a friend, Susie. She does like closet sales all the time and I really love this sort of like varsity feel of this sweater. But I also have this. Hmm. I feel like this is a little bit more wearable. This is a little larger and stiffer, but okay. Okay, it's getting rough. It's getting hard. Help! Okay, I've worn this a bunch and I have not worn this as much. So maybe let's pass this one on. Yeah, okay, let's do it. I was feeling so cocky. I'm like, this is not hard at all. I'm getting rid of so many things. Get stuck on a sweater. Okie doke. This is it. This is what we have for sweaters. I have a few more in the bins, but not that many. Moving on to vests. Iconic. Iconic crop little Valeros. So I got this with like a very Serena, Gossip Girl kind of vibe, state of mind. But I haven't worn it as much as I wanted to. Leave it for round two. I have two of these and I don't wear them as often, so we're gonna toss one. I feel like there's an opportunity here to get rid of some of these suit vests. Is that what they're called? No. Tuxedo vests, maybe? I feel like I have a lot. This one's really cool. I love the print. This one's also very cool, but the fit of it is not ideal. So I think I'm gonna pass her on to Better Life. This one I love. I recently got this. I think that the print and the kind of like metallic jacquard, you guys know how I feel about that. So it's a yes. She's staying. She's staying. You can't get rid of me. I'm me doing Leo impersonations. The detail. Things are just not made like this anymore. I feel like, wow. Only sweater vest I'm gonna get rid of is this Primark one. Um, the fit of it is just not as ideal. Like it hits me very at a very awkward place on my leg. Okay, so far so good. Let's start on tops. These are more like blouses. I thrifted this uh, recently. Honestly, it was one of those like, wow, this, this piece is so special. I don't want to leave her behind, but I haven't been able to really style her in a way that makes me really excited. Like I'm not, I'm not a church lady. I'm not about to like wear a shawl like this. Could be a cute top maybe. Ooh, could be a cute cover up. It's all about reimagining pieces, really, because this could be a very cute, like, beach cover-up moment, maybe. Can you tell that I'm just a big polka dot girl? While I'm doing this, I'm also going to be reorganizing things to be more color-coordinated. This is a piece I got because I love the color and I love the quality. It's a Lord & Taylor Prima Cotton polo shirt. Jesus, use your words, Chelsea. But I have not worn it because every time I put it on, it makes me feel like masculine, but not in like a good way, not androgynous, like cool, very much like tech bro going to work or something. But yeah, I haven't really, I've tried to sell her and it doesn't really come together for me. So perhaps it's a sign. This is another top that I really, really love, but I feel like I just don't reach for her as much. Let's give her another shot till we try everything on. And maybe while I'm trying this on, I'll try to style it as like in an outfit on the spot to maybe get some inspiration with her. But if it doesn't work out, then I love this. I loved when I found this, how... It made me feel excited and inspired, but I have not worn her yet. There's so many things I haven't worn in my closet. I feel like, you know those girls that are like, I'm really addicted to thrifting. Not so much like styling the pieces. That's, I feel like I'm kind of like falling into that bad pattern of like the rush and excitement of finding something at a thrift store. But then when I'm here, I kind of just reach for the same three things. And hopefully now that I'm seeing everything laid out, I get more inspired to style everything up. But yeah, I feel like I need to work on that because otherwise I'm part of the problem <laughs> of overconsumption, not the solution. So yeah, goal for 2022 unlocked. This top was another one that like when I found it, I was like, wow, so special, so unique, but I've never worn. Maybe I'll do part of like a section will be like things that I really want to style kind of like soon or put it more visible so that I style it because this is a top I was so excited when I find, found it and I don't want to let it go because I know I can build some really cool outfits around it. So um, yeah, we'll just, we'll find a section for that. Okay, you guys know how much I love me mesh tops and so when I found this one I was super excited. It's a mesh kind of like button up kind of feels like a cardigan and I feel like because it might be a cardigan feel I have not worn it as much as I want to I'm gonna leave her till tomorrow when we try everything on but it's just a piece that I'm like it deserves more airtime so I want to do a series probably on my TikTok or Instagram reels where I'm gonna try to style a uh, sequin for like everyday kind of like outfits everyday use not just like holiday because I think that 
Sequin is one of those textures, materials, pieces that you just kind of like associate with a specific time, but they could be worn whenever and they're so underrated. They make you feel so freaking special when you wear them. You sparkle. The walks feel a little different when you're wearing sequin. That stride be striding, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I feel like I want to do a series around that. So stay tuned for that if I get around to it. Oh, my knees, guys. I'm getting old. This would definitely go in the section I'm trying to uh, create where I put things that I definitely want to style more because wow, I mean, just look at her. This is fun, but the fit of it is a little awkward. It's long enough. It's not long enough to be just a dress, but it's kind of like oversized and boxy. So really cool kind of crop sweater I got at the Fila outlet in Woodbury. I'm gonna have to definitely try her on tomorrow and see if she is a keeper because as of right now, I do. I've never worn her and I think she's super cool. I don't know why I'm not putting her in rotation. So I'm gonna have to figure that out tomorrow. I have a lot of these like white collar, blue button down type of tops and I feel like I don't need all of them. So I'm probably gonna get rid of this one. I'm getting ruthless down here. I'm just like cut, cut, cutting away. This I love and I think it's such a special piece, but when I do style it, it gets a little tricky here because of the shape of it. It's bulky. I mean, the material, you can't just tuck it in anywhere and out just like this kind of gives me like grandma vibes. So, and like not in a way that I enjoy because y'all know I love me some grandma core. So I think, yeah, I think I'm going to pass her on to better life. Now we're getting into the kind of like gold brown section. I love this top so much. I thrifted it during the pandemic in 2020. It just brought me so much joy because it was so sparkly and fun, but I have not worn it. I haven't worn it and I feel like it's such a cool top. I think it deserves a little bit better. This I love, but it doesn't fit me how I want it to fit me. I want it to be like a very fitted kind of top. I'm gonna give her till tomorrow and try to style her up, but she might be let go. This I recently found so iconic. This is one of my favorite finds of all time. It's this sort of like 70s striped dagger collar sweater top. I freaking love it. I don't wear it as much because I don't gravitate toward darker colors and tones and hues, but she's she's iconic. This top I was keeping around for the holidays to give her another shot and I never wore her. Granted, I barely went anywhere during the holidays, but I feel like I'll give her till tomorrow and we'll try her on. This is a fun leopard print t-shirt I found. Uh, fit of it is a little weird because it's super boxy but very stiff. So I can't like tuck her into a lot of things uh, just as it is kind of strange. So I think we'll pass her on. This I really love. I found this in Florida and I thought it would be such a cute little fall, like transition summer to fall crop top. But I've noticed that the hues are what don't do it for me. I don't gravitate toward this sort of like muted, muted, muted tone type of thing. It's, it's really pretty, but I just, I don't know. I'm more into like punchy colors or just completely neutral. Remember this top I thrifted for my holiday kind of like wardrobe video? When I got home, I realized I had a hole under here and then I tried it on and I made the hole worse. I'm going to try with all my might to fix this because it is such a beautiful kind of like delicate, obviously delicate top um, for layering. I never wear and it's such a special piece. It's kind of like lace with the collar and the dramatic kind of sleeves. I'm going to try this on tomorrow because I think she deserves an opportunity to thrive. Okay, a couple more. Uh, this, again, with the muted colorful tones. I really loved it. It gave me like very Y2K. I feel like someone could get more use out of this than I would and will. So I'm gonna pass her on to Better Life, probably in my Depop. Reminder that Shop Us of Late now lives in Depop if you guys are interested. And then this Tommy shirt I loved. It gave me like 2015 Blogger Era Nostalgia. Like, throw this with like a fun skirt to give it like that juxtaposition of like sporty and fancy with sneakers and unfortunately I just have not done that. I think I'll give her till tomorrow to try to style her up but she's on the chopping block. Okay and that concludes the tops section of this video. Let's move on to pants on the other side. <laughs> so moving on to bottoms you guys can see how much more bare this side is. Like I said there are more holes to fill on the pants and bottom side than there are on the top side. I'm it's looking pretty healthy on the top side. So these I pretty much know what fits and doesn't fit because I've tried kind of like all of them on recently. So this should be fairly quick. Let's get to it. Ooh. Tried these on recently and was not doing it for me. I don't know, something about color coordinating, it really helps my eye like 
pick things out when I'm building outfits. I'm very much like a color coordination type of outfit type of girl. These are cool. I recently thrifted these. This I don't think fits me as well as I wanted it to. One of those pants I thrifted without trying them on in Florida and I had this whole like, oh, they'll be paper waste type of pant, but the reality is a little bit different. I'm gonna try them on one last time. I honestly don't own that much denim, which is why I was super excited to do a collaboration with Everlane that I filmed yesterday. It's coming out on TikTok sometime soon, and they gave me two pairs of jeans that are really, really well fitting. Jeans are all pretty much great. There's a few that I have fit me well. These I recently forked up because I guess I washed them with something pink, and now like half of the jean is pink, which would be a vibe if the whole jean went pink but it was just that side and i don't know how i feel about them also the fit is not the best to be honest so kind of makes it a little bit easier to let them go one of those skirts that i was so excited to find i was thrifting this was when i was thrifting for holiday i swear it would fit because i did the whole neck trick thing but then when i got home i realized the lining inside is super tight like tighter than the actual skirt one of those i don't know why they built it like that look at this print and the fabric it's velvet i love it a maxi skirt straight skirt love it uh come to try it on when i get home doesn't even go past my thighs so oh my gosh oldest thing i have in my closet are the american apparel disco pants i swear these pants are magical they're like the sisterhood of the traveling pant because i got these when i was in high school my body has changed a lot since then and they still fit perfectly it's to the point where the zipper broke like it just you know fell apart as things do with age and i went and fixed it because i'm never getting rid of these pants like they i will be 70 years old wearing my disco pants telling my grandkids about the good old days okay moving on to skirts there are a few skirts i know i'm gonna get rid of but majority are staying this is just like right up my alley in terms of color and fit both of these i'm probably gonna get rid of this guy just based on the length of it it's kind of like an awkward length i could crop it i could crop it maybe i will crop it okay let's keep it for now maybe i'll do some alterations with this guy what would be the worst thing if I just like cut this myself instead of taking it to alterations? Like fabric come undone, could that be like a grunge moment? This is a great midi skirt I picked up at the Goodwill outlet. I mean, shorts, ugh. These shorts are great. I love the color of them, but I'm not sure about the fit. They're a size eight, which is just a tiny bit loose on me. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've tried to style them a few times and it just kind of just like an awkward fit. So maybe it's time we let them go. Okay, so you guys know how I always talk about wanting to find gold boots. I want them exactly like this. Like, I might just freaking take this and make it into a boot at this point because... Train. Can you guys hear me? Maybe I'll just start talking over the train. You know, it's annoying. It's gold. It's metallic. It's snakeskin print. It's perfection. It's one of those skirts I thrifted on the road in 2020. It was one of the few finds that I liked. I think this has a lot of potential. I'm gonna keep it. I love the color, especially now with uh, spring coming up, so I'm gonna keep her for now. My iridescent maxi skirts. Till the death of me. It's just a skirt I, re I thrifted over the fall. It was giving me fall hues. It's a vintage gap, but I have not worn it as much as I wanted to and I, as much as I think she deserves, mostly because of, again, the muted kind of like, it's not the mute, like the neutral tones. It's the fact that it's like muted colorful tones. Like it's supposed to be color, but it's muted. So something about that just isn't me and I have to just accept that and stop thrifting things that are gorgeous, but are just not gonna be me uh, in the future. <laughs> Had all the right intentions, but the execution was kind of like a miss for me, just because I love the print, I love the colors, but the fit of it is kind of awkward because it's kind of like balloony up top, but then it goes straight down instead of just like flaring out, so. And I have this one that I gravitate more towards, so it's time to let this one go. These pants I got because I really love the color of them, but I just don't know about the fit. Yeah, a lot of this process is really just like reorganizing, re-visualizing to, you know, again, help my eye. At the time of getting ready in the morning, these I got with all uh, the right intentions. They were, they're Zara, and I really love the overall fit of them, but they're kind of washed, although you can't really tell on camera, so maybe it's just like me being picky. Cool. 
all done with bottoms let's move on to dresses okay very quickly tackling dresses i don't have that many and i love them all so this should be a quick and simple process can you tell i went thrifting shortly after watching emily in paris Chelsea. Uh, Emily in Paris season two and like I went on a dress binge, but I love them all so yeah I had a really emotional moment yesterday hanging up my dresses because I realized that this is the first time in my life I've been able to hang my dresses. I've always had my dresses in a bin under my um, bed like for as long as I can remember because of space issues and so yeah I was hanging up my dress and I'm like this is this is surreal I mean wow. So this I love so much but it does not fit me. So I shall pass her on to better life. Two so things we're gonna get rid of, this dress, which I've always intended to wear as a top, never have, never will probably, and this one, which doesn't fit me well. It's so funny how things just always find a way to come back. This dress I got from a photo shoot I did with Zach, Zach Poston. It must have been like 2018. And I remember not, like metallic not being that big of a deal. But I, I fell in love with it. It reminded me of Never Been Kissed for some reason. But in like the best way possible, it's this sort of like midi length metallic dress. And it was literally in the plastic till now. And now I'm super into metallics and I literally cannot wait to style this dress up. So you never know when things are going to make a comeback, y'all. This is one of my all-time favorite finds. Kind of plaid ink dress. It's a maxi dress. It's beautiful A-line, like perfection. I'm more of a dress person than I think. I just have not seen them that often for you know majority of my life so it's kind of been hard to style them up but i'm super into gowns as you guys know i'm super into vintage dresses so happy i get to wear see them wear them style them love them all of that all of that this little tool skirt it's an underskirt for sure like this goes under dresses i got to try to do like iconic carry moment but is this the equivalent of her iconic white tool skirt i don't know and if i take this white or this top layer off it's just see-through so i have to figure something out with her or else she's getting the boot until i find the real thing you know that's it on dresses we are now on the other side of the closet where i put my jackets for now i don't know if this will be forever but i'm liking them here for now um i definitely need lighting though holy crap if i didn't have my ring light we would be in complete darkness we're going through these and then once we go through them i'm going to color coordinate because we already went through this y'all know the process this i found around the holidays and i thought it would be a really cute crop jacket but it's actually really tight around the whole like the armholes and so i have not worn it and i probably won't wear it because of that it's just not comfortable and if something's not comfortable for me it could be the freaking most wonderful piece in the world i just won't wear it so what's the point right also i found this replacement i think you guys saw this and this is much more wearable for me so i'm gonna keep that one so this is a square leather red jacket i found i haven't gotten as much wear out of it because i think the fit is not the best for me so i'm gonna try it on but it's likely gonna be a goner i also like this for an oversized feel i like this a little bit better so this is one of those pieces that again when i thrifted it i was so excited about it i could not believe i found it but i haven't worn it yet so I don't want to get rid of it just yet. I think it's really special, but I'm probably going to put that in the eventual, like, let's style this soon rack that I'm going to build. This is another piece that I thrifted in Florida. I love this on the hanger. I just have not found a way around styling it. Maybe I'll put it with the sweaters and treat it more like a sweater than a jacket and see if that helps. I don't think I've shown you guys this, but I found the freaking tuxedo blazer of my dreams in Hawaii of all places, thrifting in Hawaii. I've been looking for something like this where it's like high low forever and I found one once at a thrift store and I did not get it and I regretted it ever since and I've been looking online but they go for a lot of money they're like hundreds of dollars and I'm thrifting casually in Hawaii and I randomly spot this and I I mean my heart skipped a beat I was in shock and I loved it I tried it on it fit me exactly how I wanted it it's a men's so it's a little bit oversized but not too much where it swallows me and then I go to check the tag look where this was made can you guys see this and so I took it as a sign that this was a yes it was 20 bucks and i freaking i paid it so fast i mean it was perfection and i cannot wait to style this okay i'm feeling good about this 
rack. I've gone through everything, kind of just like visually what I think I want to keep. But again, tomorrow is gonna be a big day for this section because there's just a lot and I wanna make sure I actually love how everything fits. Up to the second side of the jackets, I feel like I recently went through these and there's not really much I want to get rid of. Nothing like really stands out as like something I don't use or doesn't fit me well. And so I know this is gonna be heavy on the try on tomorrow. Okay, so I have two similar sequin jackets. I found this one recently. Amy, my friend, found this for me at a thrift. And I feel like this one I just never really got much wear out of. So I think I'm gonna try to sell this one. This is one of those pieces I thrifted because it was really cheap. It was a dollar on a dollar sale. Thought I would get so much more wear out of it because it's so cool. It's a cobalt blue. It's kind of like a band jacket, but I haven't. So if I have that rack of like things I need to sell immediately, this is gonna go on it. Same for this jacket. This I feel like I got because they gave me like Chanel vibe with the trim and the buttons and the pockets, but I haven't really worn it. I still wanna give it a try tomorrow though, so. Give her a fair chance. Pretty much everything else on here, I adore. So I'll just make sure everything fits properly tomorrow and we are good to go. Now it is time for shoes. I pretty much know everything fits because it's my size. But um, yeah, I kinda wanna go through everything, make sure I'm still currently wearing everything, actively wearing all of my shoes and that I love every single pair of shoe I'm keeping. So let's do that. Getting rid of these because I got these and I got I like these better. I love these when I found them. I haven't worn them because they are kind of uncomfortable. Guys, are these cool? Should I keep them? Let me know in the comments. Ta-da! The shoe wall is complete. I'm so happy with how it came out. Honestly, I still have some space for some new shoes in case I want any. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with what I kept. I got rid of a few pairs. Let's move on. It's time for the bins. I'm genuinely terrified because this is what it really comes down to. Can I have all my clothes out and have it fit properly? And <laughs> the bins are a make or break. 